the search trends for the month of April. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Google is search trends expert, Abigail Jeffy. Hi, Abigail. Hi, Fred. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure. Well, here it is, the end of April, and I guess we can start out with the entertainment category where Beyonce is making her mark on a new realm for her, country music. You know, I actually listened to country music growing up, so I'm excited to see this becoming accessible to more people. We're seeing people searching for lyrics from her songs, so things like Blackbird and Jolene. We're also seeing a lot of interest in Western fashion popping up, so people are searching for things like denim jackets and white cowgirl boots, so people are really trying to tap into this moment. We're fans of denim here, as you might be able to tell, viewers, anyway. And of course, uh, Coachella and Taylor Swift with her new album are trending too. Yeah, so big music month. Some of the top trending performers from Coachella were Hatsune Miku and Sabrina Carpenter. So between Taylor and Beyonce's album and Coachella, definitely a, a big month for music. Now, we started out the month with April Fool's Day, and it seems like there were some interesting search topics there. Tell us about them. Yeah, people are searching for really goofy things this year. Um, we saw some searches for weird foods like hot dogs, sparkling water, and meatloaf cupcakes. Not something I would want to eat, so I don't know who who's eating these. But um, we also saw some searches for Lirpa Oof, which is April Fool's spelled backwards. People are also wondering if April Fool's is a federal holiday, which... Unfortunately, it's not. So a lot of interest in April Fool's this year. I saw something about divorce papers drawn up as an April Fool's joke. Yeah, yeah. People that does not sound like a very funny joke to me, but I don't know. Maybe it is for some folks. It is prom season. Uh, what were some prom goers searching for? So there were there was a lot of interest around, no surprise, dresses. I was actually in a department store this weekend looking for a dress for a family wedding. And it was kind of, you know, plastered with all of these sparkly prom dresses, as you might expect. So we did see a lot of interest in searches for orange prom dress. I think it was a, about an 800 percent increase in searches for that. So that was kind of interesting. We're also seeing people search for things like, you know, black prom dresses and just different variations and colors for dresses. Um, we're seeing more interest in searches for dresses than in tuxes for men. So that's, you know, that's kind of interesting. Dresses are just really popular. Tuxes don't change a whole lot. I guess they can, but typically they don't. Yeah, in that's sci true. In science, we had the solar eclipse to search for, to, to learn about. Yeah, my mom actually came down to Texas to see it with me. So that was definitely a big moment for me and for my family. And, you know, a huge moment across the country, too, since we're not going to have another solar eclipse in, in the U.S. until, I think, 2044. So people were really interested in searching for things like best places to see the eclipse and uh, free solar eclipse classes near me. Everybody really wanted to catch a moment of that. And I think, you know, as the moment got closer, people just got really interested and really wanted to participate. How was the weather for you? Was it okay or? <laughs> it was, yeah. So it was actually, the morning started out pretty cloudy. So we were really nervous, but about an hour before the eclipse, we kind of hit the road and figured we'd shoot our shot at sunnier skies about an hour north of Austin. And we got really lucky and, and we saw that eclipse kind of peek through the clouds. So I consider myself very fortunate. Terrific. In sports, we had the Masters and the WNBA draft got lots of attention. Yeah. So Caitlin Clark, obviously no surprise. She's incredible. People are really interested in Indiana fever tickets. So people are searching for that was the team that she was drafted by. So after she got drafted, people are really interested in uh, searching for tickets to those games. So uh, no surprise there going to have a big impact. Searches related to allergy season were, were nothing to sneeze at. Tell us what people were looking for. Yeah. So if you're anything like me, you might kind of suffer from allergies year round, but I think a lot of folks right now are experiencing those seasonal allergies. So they're searching for things like 
pollen count and even can cats have allergies, which is kind of funny because cats give me allergies. <laughs> so that was kind of funny, you know, and people are also searching for things like air purifiers to kind of try to get through uh, some of the worst seasonal allergy moments of the year. And I guess that'll continue through a lot of the summer, spring and summer, no doubt. Where can people go for more info? So if you're interested in seeing what searches are like near you, you can go to google.com slash trends to find out more there. Terrific. Abigail Jaffe, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so much for having me, Fred.